Hi, it's John from Android Addicts, and today we're going to be installing TWRP Recovery and then routing our phone. So the phone I'm using here is my Galaxy S8, and the first thing you'll need to do is turn on the developer options. So go into the settings of your phone, scroll down to About Phone, go to Software Information, and then where you see Build Number, you need to tap this seven times. Whilst you're doing this, you'll see at the bottom a little message pops up. So let's just go through it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it now says developer mode has been enabled. So we're going to click back on here, back once again. And then we'll see here at the bottom we have developer options. Click into there. And there's two options here you'll need to turn on. So the first one is OEM unlocking. Confirm you want to turn it on. And the last mode here we need to turn on is USB debugging. Press OK. And now we're done on our phone. What I would recommend is that you back up any data you want to keep because we will need to factory reset the phone if we want to install root access. Okay, so over on the PC, what we're going to want to do now is download the TWRP recovery. I've put a link in the description to this page on my site. So if we click on that link, we can then search for our device. Now you can see there's lots of devices supported here, all sorts, but we've obviously got the Galaxy S8. And we can see here there's four different versions, the standard S8, S8 Plus, S8 Plus, and S8 Standard Snapdragon. We're doing the Exynos version here. So if we click on there, close off any ads that might pop up. Okay, so now we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna click on the download for Europe. You could click the Americas one, but this is closer to us, so it should download a bit quicker. Okay, and now we're going to download the latest TWRP tar file for our S8. Click the link to start the download. And you see our file is downloading here. Okay, so step two we have completed and we've downloaded the file. So what I'm gonna do is just drag this file onto the desktop so that we know where it is. So if I show in folder and then just right click and click move here. This is just so we know where the file is. I already had a copy there, but that's fine. We shall proceed. And then next up we want to download Odin. Now I've put a link here to the download page. This is on the XDA developers site. There's a link here towards the bottom of the first post. This is the one we're going to download, version 3.13.13b. Okay, once that's downloaded, you can either click on the zip file from here, or if we do show in folder, we can actually See it here, right click, extract all, and then just click extract. Okay, so now we have Odin ready to go. We're going to double click on the executable here. Okay, so this is the main Odin window. Now what we need to do to flash the TWRP is select AP. And then we're going to select our TWRP image, press open. That will appear in the file name here. And then we're going to go to options. It's very important you go to options because we need to untick auto reboot. Right, so we have our TWRP image ready. We've unticked auto reboot. Our phone is detected initially, but we're going to have to go into the download mode before we click the start button. 
So back here on the phone, we're gonna power it down. We're gonna unplug the cable and then we're gonna press Bixby, volume down and power all at the same time. So Bixby, volume down, power, You'll get a warning message here. Just press the volume up key to continue. And we're now in download mode. So now we can plug our phone back in. We'll see that Odin detects the phone again and we're ready to proceed. So just double check everything, auto reboot is off. We've got the file in the AP section here. And then we just click on the start button. So you can see the file gets copied across. It's only a small file, so it doesn't take very long. Okay, so the next step is the slightly more fiddly step. What we're gonna do is we're gonna unplug from the USB cable. And what we want to do, we need to power off the phone by holding volume down and power, but that's actually gonna restart the phone. So as soon as it restarts, we're gonna press Bixby and up along with the power key. So hold this down for seven seconds for it to turn off. As soon as the screen goes black, Bixby, volume up and power. So let's just give that a go. And here we go, we have now booted into the team win recovery. Okay, so once we're in the TWRP, what we're going to want to do is select wipe and then format data. Now don't forget before you click on this, this is going to delete everything that's on your phone. So make sure you've backed everything up first. Once you're happy, click format data and then just type yes. Okay, so once that's finished, ignore any red messages there. I'm going to click back on the home, click reboot, and then reboot to recovery. Okay, so we're now back in TWRP. So let's just swipe across. And now what we want to do is install the next zip file. So I'm going to connect this back up to the phone and to the computer. Right, so in step 11 here, we have the no Verity file, so we're going to click on there to download it. Just click on the green start button here. And then we're going to click on the primary download. So we already have the file here and I've stuck it onto the desktop. Okay, so with this file, we're going to copy it onto our Galaxy S8 here onto the internal storage. We can stick it in the TWRP folder. And then we can move back to the phone. Okay, we can unplug from the PC. Swipe to unlock as the screen has been locked here. And now what we're gonna do is install the zip file we've just copied across. So we've popped it in the TWRP folder. back there so you can see so we've got this the no verity opt encrypt select that and then just swipe across to install okay click on the home button and then we're going to reboot into recovery Once we're back, we're going to just reboot into system.
Now the phone will probably initially take a good 5-10 minutes or so to boot up. Don't forget it's basically had a factory reset performed. So I'm going to come back to the phone once it's booted up and we'll proceed from there. Right, we've just finished setting up the phone. So now what we want to do is root our device. So what we're going to use to root it is to install a program called Magisk. Now, again, the link is in the description. I've already got it downloaded on the computer, so I'm just going to plug in the USB cable again and copy it across. You could download it directly onto your phone if you like, it's completely up to you, but I'm going to do it via the USB cable. Okay, so here we are in step 12. We're going to click on the Magisk releases here to download the latest version. The latest one at the time of writing is version 20.4. So you want to download Magisk version 20.4.zip. Now, once that's downloaded, if you click on the zip file, we're going to copy this zip file onto our S8. So we're going to click copy and we're just going to copy it onto our S8. There's nothing there at the moment because we need to unlock the phone and click allow here. Okay so we can now see the phone memory and we're just going to copy the zip file onto the root of the phone. Right, we can unplug from the PC now and we're going to reboot into the TWRP recovery. So press and hold your power button, power off your phone and remember it's going to be Bixby, volume up and power. Okay, so now we're going to install the Magisk zip file. So click install. And we should see here at the very bottom the zip file we've just copied across. So click on that and swipe across to the right to install it. And once we're installed, just click Reboot System. Mm. Once the phone has loaded back up, unlock it. There we are, the Magisk Manager has appeared there. Took a few moments to actually show up, so we're going to click on there. Okay, so we know we've got the latest versions up to date. So we're going to go to the Play Store now, and we're going to install the root check. Right, once the root tracker has been installed, open up. Click agree. Click get started. And then we're going to click verify root. Now the fact this has popped up, we know that that means it's worked. So we're going to grant access. And we can now see our phone is rooted. So I hope you found this video useful. Please click the like button and subscribe to my channel if you did. Leave any comments or questions you have down below and I'll do my best to answer them. And I will see you again in the next video.